Hey guys, it's Millie with Boots and Bows Outdoors. I've had a couple of people ask me for some shaven updates. So I'm here out at the Mississippi Ponderosa. Just woke up, no makeup on, nothing here. But before I head back home, cause you know, we have the two hurricanes coming in this week. So I need to get my butt home. So before I head home, I'm gonna hurry up and show you some of the updates that we have done to the cabin. It's slow. Remember, this is our weekend place. And with it being so hot this summer, we've only been up here a few times. Um, Jim's not even with me this time. I came up by myself, mainly to clean, because the boys came up a few weeks ago and did some work in here and put up another wall and everything. So um, I had to do some cleaning. We had to cut grass and weed eat and everything. So um, we got to enjoy some beautiful weather and um, saw some wildlife running around, saw some fireflies last night. I think that's one of my favorite things about coming out to the Mississippi Ponderosa are the fireflies, because we didn't get to see that in the city when I was a kid growing up. Anyway, I digress. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour. I don't have any video equipment with me, just my iPhone, no tripod, no fancy microphone that Jim uses. So bear with me, if you wanna see an update, it's gonna be a raw one. All right, thanks guys. All right, so let's give you an update on the tiny house or the shabin on the Mississippi Ponderosa. So some people were asking for a little update on our progress. Progress has been slow because of the summer and the heat, but you know, it's just a weekend place and we're doing it as we have the money. So it's not too bad. All right, so in a previous video, you saw that we had built, well, Jim and James had built the steps. They are awesome, they are stable. It's an easy way for us to get in the door. If you didn't see one of our other videos, just to recap just a little bit, this is a 14 by 40 Graceland garden shed. The door in the front came with it with one window and we had seven additional windows put in. Why so many windows? I like windows. So that's what we did. All right, so let's go inside. All right, so on the inside, um, last month, maybe a month and a half ago, we built the walls for the first bedroom. This will be a two bedroom shabin with one bath and a storage room. That's pretty much it. No closets, since it's a weekend place, I didn't find the need. So there's our walls with our bedroom. And then right here, will be our bathroom. So we still have a wall to go up there with a doorway. It'll be flush with the bedroom, giving us plenty of space in that bathroom. So, last month, James, my son, and my son-in-law, Corey, came up and they built the walls for the second bedroom. Same size. Everything the same, except we put the door right here. And the reason we did that was to give us more wall space in this living area. So the door will go into the bedroom there and then there will be a wall up right where the door ends, basically. And this area will be a storage room. Since I don't have any closets or a pantry, we have this some sort of storage. And maybe one day we will put in a washer dryer hookup, like maybe the stackable kind, 
So we are going to um, do the plumbing for that when we rough in the plumbing. All right, so that's kind of where we are. The tarp, it keeps, it cuts off half the shed so the air conditions aren't working quite as hard because um, we're not insulated and it'll be a while before we can insulate. So what's our next step? I'm trying to show you without making you too dizzy what the space looks like. All right, I'm gonna stop and then show you. So we're back with the tarp rolled up and propped so you can see the living area. All right, this is the main living area. It will have the kitchen and it will have the living room, great room. All right, so because I was so obsessed with having so many windows, I'm hoping it gives us enough room to put a TV on a wall. I mean, this is a big space, but it's also directly across from the front door. So, hmm. All right, so what I'm thinking is this L right here will be enough room for a sink, a stove, a fridge, and a cabinet or two on the bottom, and then there'll just be shelving on the top. And then I'm thinking we will somehow, maybe on this end, remember that's the bathroom right there, maybe the TV will go there, not centered, but maybe there. And then that would give us room for chairs and maybe like a love seat kind of thing here, which would face the other way. And, and then there'll be some sort of eating area, small, but eating. And so that might be right there in front of that hallway. And I probably will do some sort of shelving in the hallway across from the door since we don't have any closets or anything, maybe even like a pantry. Pantry would go there, which would leave that storage room for nothing but clothing and items that need to be stored. And that's it. We did not get um, a lofted cabin because neither Jim or I or James, who's gone in with this with us, um, wanted to be climbing. So, um, yep, no loft. But that's it. That's how, that's how far we are right now. Our next step is going to be building the doorway wall right there to go into the bathroom and building the doorway wall there to go into the storage room. And then Corey will come and help us with roughing in the electric. He has already started drilling some holes and then we will be working on the plumbing too. And then the uh, electrical pole needs to be moved before we can really hook up to electricity. And we need to have a septic tank dug. We have one here um, that the prior owner put in, but we're thinking we should go in and put a bigger septic system. So I think that's it. And then after all of that, then we can get the guy to come out and do the blown insulation. Spray insulation, sorry, spray insulation. Um, so that'll be a while. So here's some questions for y'all. What do you think about this living area? As far as, see originally my kitchen was going to be there because it was just going to be you know, it's not gonna be big, it's just gonna be the necessities. Small refrigerator, small stove, oven, and some storage, and a sink. And then our eating area was gonna be there. Then our TV would go against that wall with seating facing it. 
So that was the original plan. So we can go that way, or we can flip the kitchen over there, giving us a little bit more room in the kitchen, but then putting the TV back here. So those are our two quandaries, I guess, as to what we're doing. And I really have to decide soon because of where the electrical is going to be as far as on the walls. All right, there was another question I was gonna ask y'all to help me with. Um, can't remember what it is. Might come back in the video before we completely finish and ask you. We are st storing furniture for, as you know, the tornado hit theirs hit their cabin and knocked it down and they're rebuilding and um all right that's it so that is the shabin update uh oh i know so it looks like it's gonna be a while before we really get to the spray insulation probably i'm thinking spring or next summer i'm thinking i mean logically we're only here on the weekends right and we have to do this as we have money and you know, with the situation and times, money is a little tighter right now than it was a year ago at this time. So should we invest in some fiberglass insulation and do this main area where we're tarped off so we can keep the air and I, I guess eventually the heat in? So is it worth it, you think, to go ahead and put the money out on some fiberglass insulation, even though we're planning on the uh, spray insulation probably next year? I know during the day it gets really hot in here and we're not able to work. So um, even with both air conditions running, so I'm so excited it's coming along. All right, thanks guys, thanks for the update. Hope that, you know, solve some of the questions that people have been asking me. And um, our videos come out, I don't know, once every couple of weeks. So if you wanna see more about the tiny house slash Shavin slash add on the Mississippi Ponderosa, uh, click the like button and the subscribe button so that you get more videos from us. All right. See you later. Bye.